Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. If you are new, then I hope if you enjoy this video that you will give it a thumbs up and you will subscribe. I have a Marketplace box of journals for you today. Um, it's exciting because it's from Michelle Perrin and she was one of the first artists that I featured um, when the Marketplace got started before I had it all figured out and so I have another box of journals I'm sharing from her but I also have some new washi tape um, in stock that I want to share with you so there are these rolls this one is trees I hope you can see that wouldn't that be awesome for a botanical journal and it's it's wide it's fairly wide too and so I have a few rolls of that um, I also have some feathers some blue feathers that would be great for bird journals or maybe bohemian or something like that. Look at how pretty those are. So I've got some blue feathers. Um, there's another blue feather one. And then look at these blue birds. This one is quite wide. I think it is, yeah, it's as wide as the tree one. Look at those birds. Aren't those pretty? But these aren't huge rolls of washi. They are brand new. You can see there. Um, not all of that is washy. A little under half of it is, there's the cardboard too there, tube there too. But sometimes I think it's better to have a little bit less because you get to use it up before it gets all super sticky. There's another tree one. I just have a bag here that I'm... Then I also have, let's see, there's another blue feather. I also have the thinner tree ones that go vertical like this. So... You know, there's style. And then there's this one that has little acorns and leaves that is really cute. This would be great for woodland journals or even fall journals. So I've got that kind as well. These are the rest of them. See another blue feather tree. I gave some to my mom, I think, when she was here. So I'm trying to see how much I have left here. Okay, so I will have two of the big trees available, two of the big birds available, and then these feather ones. I'm trying to see, I think there's two different kinds here. Okay, so yeah. This one has bigger feathers, like a different kind of blue feather than this one, but honestly, they are so incredibly similar. I'm just going to put them all together because they're so similar. You couldn't really barely tell the difference. And then there's two of the thin tree and one of this one. I have to save some for myself so I get to use them. But okay, so again, one of this kind, two of the thin trees, two of the big blue birds, four assorted blue feathers, and two big trees. So that's what I have in my junk journal supplies section of my shop. And let's get into the marketplace journals. So she gives me this nice little cheat sheet. Um, she said some of them are small. They might not be worth selling. I could do what I wanted with them. Um, see, you could do a buy one, get one free, lump them together, all that sort of stuff. So of course her work is amazing. She's sure she's making it out to be much worse than it is because look at this beautiful thing. So we have a ring bound, or not a ring bound, uh, like a comb bound. Come on, Lindsay. This is like a spiral bound. I don't know what I'm saying. Woke up with a bit of a headache today. So look at how pretty that is. It's like a scroll with the flowers. And then here is the closure. Well, you got a little bag here in the front. This one is called Sea Beach Wire Binding. 12 blank white papers, two plastic photo sleeves, 12 brown craft paper. So it's kind of like perfect for a sketchbook or glue book or art journal. You could put photos or ephemera in these pockets. And then you have the craft paper ones here as well. 
and then a nice pocket in the back. So this would be perfect. And I think it would be great for sticking ephemera and then like maybe trying out different collage techniques and junk journal techniques and things like that. It would be a beautiful gift for someone as well. So that is gorgeous. Then there's, yeah, some of these are little, but that is okay. So here is this one, and they may be lumped together in different, I'll decide when I film them and list them exactly how the, I want to uh, sell them or whatever, but I'm just going to show them all to you, then you can go on my site and see how I listed them. This is a pocket photo book, so it's kind of like a mini album. You can stick photos and things like that. These are great gifts and stocking stuffers to put like photos for, you know, this would be great for Father's Day. Well, we probably wouldn't get it in time for a Father's Day, but you get the idea. And there's a couple different ones. This one says Happy. This one says Princess. And then this one says Love. So probably I will list these three together as a set because they definitely look like a set. And then this one is an idea journal. And what she's done here is given a whole bunch of different ideas for junk journals. So she has like tucks, medals, notes, envelopes. It's just super cute. A little sequin shaker, crystals, just ideas. If you're new to junk journals, like there's different kinds of paper folds you can do, um, pockets, different kinds of pockets. If you're new to junk journaling, um, this is so cute. And more pockets. It's done so artistically. Borders. Oh, my boys are banging on the door. So it is just perfect for ideas and little tabs. See, so there's all sorts of different ones here that she's put together. So it's just an idea journal. There are washi tapes. Look at all these like different ways you can washi things. There's just so much to look at. I'm going quickly through it but she's got oh, frames. It is so adorable. You could add your ideas to it or just use little flips, waterfall, just to remind you of different things. Stencil sprays, rubbing. Look at how cute. Tuck folds, belly bands. It is just perfect for all sorts of junk journal ideas. It is so cute. Then there's this one, which looks decoupaged. Really pretty. Look at this. It's kind of gold, like a gold gilding or something. So this is a butterfly writing journal. Collage file folder with hand-painted mixed media accents. Here's a pocket. So it's made for writing, and this, look at this, this would be not only cool you could write on it, but this would be really neat for um, maybe a younger kid's journal too for practicing handwriting over the summer, or if it, I would just write smaller. I just love the look of that type of, of um, paper. She's added some stenciling, there's some graph paper in there. There's a lot of room that you could add your little bits and pieces to as well. It's very well made. Look at this um, stitching, very well made. And a little pocket here in the back too. That is absolutely beautiful. Okay, then we have this really pretty bird one. There's a little oriental it's some writing on there i think it's a mini album let's see it's a photo book bird song photo book so yeah kind of like a mini album lots of places for photos this reminds me when i was a teenager i was really into chinese things and collecting them and i would have loved this this is so pretty Just oriental themes so pretty so lots of places for photos. And then there's a little envelope here in the back that would look really pretty sitting on a shelf. And there's this one. This is cool because you can ship it flat like that. 
but then you just straighten it out like that. Look at that. Look at all these beading. It's a little wooden zebra, little clay. It looks like little clay hearts and things. That is so neat. That would look so cool sitting on a shelf. And then just lots of different papers that you can do things with. Pictures, writing. You could bulk it way up so it's so this is super full and it stood like that. It's a great gift because you can mail it flat like that as well. Here is a simple gray one. Look at that. It's neat because you got the stitching. Oh but it can fold flat like that. There's just some little beads here at the bottom. Oh, might be that's at the top. Have it the wrong way. Gray photo book. So it's like a mini album. Lots of paid places for photos and journaling. That's really neat. I love the color scheme in this. That's super neat, really pretty. Let's see. Here's a little booklet, sea beach theme junk journal. So this is a junk journal, just a small thin one. Perfect for just a little trip, like if you're going to the beach or you having a lake day or something like that to bring along with you fill up and then maybe tuck in a bigger journal. This has a bunch of mixed media. Look at that beautiful mixed media. Oh, this is neat. What is this? It's just a writing journal. I love this one. That is super cool. The pages are such good quality. Look at all that mixed media. I love this one. Tempted to get that one because it's very useful. Look at that. Cool. She's so creative. It looks like it's those file folder tabs from like a gardening journal. Yellow garden theme journal from a vintage Better Homes and Gardens journal. Isn't that neat? So it's like a junk journal. Beautiful touches, but it's still super simple. Uh, this is a really cool one. Mm, beautiful papers. That is really pretty. This one, that's a little acetate pocket. I think it's sewn all the way down, yeah. That's cool, just for texture. Yellow with envelope window junk journal. I love the texture she adds with stitching different papers, how she puts everything together. It's really neat. Reminds me a little bit of um, the basic setup from like the rebookery from her channel. As she goes way crazy with it and in detail and depth, which of course you could take this and kind of do some of that stuff to it. But look at how neat this is. That's really cool. Here is a traveler's notebook, a standard traveler's notebook. Look at the beading. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that one goes to a different one, okay. Asian propriety. So another Asian theme. This would be neat if you purchased my, what's it called, Eastern, Eastern Nature. Ephemera kit, it would go perfect in this. 
And you may want to do that if you buy this because it's buy three, get free shipping in the U.S. And it would be a perfect complement to this journal. I love her stenciling. Little origami cranes. This would just be really, really calming to work in, to write in. You could put your favorite quotes in here. That is really, really pretty. I love those beads. Here's another traveler's notebook. Just a couple little beads right there. This is bloom. This is glittered. This would be perfect for a little girl. I mean, of course, it doesn't have to be, but sometimes I think some of our super grungy vintage journals, they're not, I don't know, a little girl, you know, five, six, seven, eight, even 11, 12, they're gonna like something more cheery and peppy like this, probably. They're gonna appreciate something like this more. I had someone comment on a video recently, um, about how kind of discouraged she was because all the junk journals that she sees are so grungy and vintage. And if you don't have bingo cards and if you don't have, you don't grunge every page up and use a ton of coffee dyed paper, you're not doing it right, which of course is not true. And I hope if you're watching this video that you will see Michelle's little journals here. There's no coffee dyed paper in this. It's just all bright, cheery, happy, pretty papers. She said she just wished she could use her pretty papers without feeling like she was doing it wrong. And of course you can. There is no set, you know, way to do a journal. Obviously the channels that she's been watching are the more grungy vintage ones, but look at it. Look at how sweet this is. It is just so cute. And here's another one. It says art. There's fringe. It's all mixed media. It's just an art journal with different kind. It looks like uh, maybe what's this called? It's not gesso. I forgot what it's called, but it's like um. Sorry, my brain is super foggy today. Can't think of what it's called. Look at that gold stitched. Oh. I wish I, there's like a resist, almost like a, I don't, I don't know how much is showing up. I'm not super good at artistic things. I'm learning, but I don't necessarily know the techniques or the proper names for everything. Look at all this art. This is so beautiful. And I think this would be incredible to turn into a uh, your own junk journal and clipping in your favorite bits and pieces because this could go any theme, any way with all of these incredible colors. Looks like a whole bunch of papers that she just played on and enjoyed and then bound together. There's so much happiness in this journal. That is cool, okay? There's this one, this is only you. Just This is more of a vintage theme, it's a belly band. She's still not using coffee dyed uh, paper though. It's kind of like vintage modern, so neat. Somehow she makes everything flow together so well. So don't let anybody put you in a box. Don't let anybody tell you how to make your journals. As long as they're bound tight and well, um, so they're not falling apart, make it any way you want. Put together the colors that make you happy. Something I've learned with the marketplace is even the journals that aren't really my style, they're somebody else's style and somebody else adores them. Isn't that so cool? All these little... She stitches things on. Cool. And 
we have one more traveler's notebook. Sometimes we have to remind ourselves to find something beautiful in the ordinary. Love her beading. This is just a priority flat ma a priority mail envelope that she turned into a cover. How perfect is that? I love it. True junk journal. So pretty. There's a little US mail envelope. Perfect for, you know, keeping track of your happy mail, your swaps, your business expenses. It could be a travel journal. Whatever you want it to be, of course. So you can see you can use junk mail and brochures and things to just make it so pretty. The popcorn bag. Calendars. And then there's one more here. It's like a sewn quilted cover. Okay. So it opens like this. There's numbers on it. Blue fabric cover junk journal. Applique fabric cover with cardstock insert for stiffness. So again, it's just her junk journal, sewing things together, creating pages, kind of like Franken pages, all different kinds of things. The inspiration never ends in these journals. Isn't that cool how she saves all this stuff? And like, we throw it out, but look at what she did with it. So if you can't afford a lot of the expensive paper packs and digitals, save your, your junk mail and stuff and turn it into something beautiful like this. Then sell it and make a little bit of money. Isn't that cool? I would love to just play in something like this. So cute. And this feels really good. So that's everything that she sent. Super neat. Oh, just amazing what she has come up with. I just love it. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you were as inspired as I was. You may want to go back and um, watch it again. And you may want to pause the video on some of the pages and take notes. I know I went pretty quickly. But as you can see, she sent like, I don't know, tons of these journals. And... Um, so I did go through pretty quickly so we could get it all into one manageable video, but there is so many beautiful things. Let me know what inspired you the most and what stuck out to you. If you're interested in consigning your journals with me, um, please let me know. I'll be glad to give you any kind of information you might need, any guidelines, answer any questions. Contact me on Facebook or Etsy and we can chat. I'll see you all in the next video.